Welcome back to Beginner Miniatures. Today I'm painting Shiri from Marvel Crisis Protocol. I've already assembled the model and primed her gray. The first thing I'm going to be doing is painting her skirt a nice dark gray. It ended up taking me about three coats to get even coverage. The next thing I'm going to do is paint her jumpsuit in black. At first I was trying to leave the areas that would be colored later gray, but then I decided it would be easier and quicker to paint the whole thing black. The next thing I did was paint a base tone of dark brown for all of her skin. Then it was time to paint the dreaded eyes. The way I did this was I filled in her eyes with some pure white and then drew some vertical black lines for her pupils and then I trimmed the edges back down with some of the more of the skin base tone. I don't think I ended up getting footage of me putting the black lines in for her pupils. The next thing I did is went over her hair with a nice mix of dark brown and black to get a nice dark face tone. I also went over her eyebrows with that same base tone with a very small paintbrush. Then I went over all of the blue areas with a dark turquoise mix I made.
The next thing I did was paint her panther gauntlets, arm bracelets, and necklace with a gunmetal color. The next thing I did was painted over all of her yellowish orange areas with a nice dark orange undercoat. Then I started on the highlights with the black. I started by going over it with some gray and then glazing back with black and going back and forth until I was happy with the result. Here I'm going over all of the raised details with the side of my brush and I'm making it a little scratchy so that way the gray doesn't look too overpowering. Now I started highlighting up the blue by adding increasing amounts of white to the base tone and just covering smaller and smaller sections towards the middle of the blue.
Then I went on and started highlighting the orange. I did this by mixing up a yellow glaze and then focusing more on the top to make it more brighter and yellow up there and then working down to a more orangey tone by covering it less at the bottom. Now for highlighting the skin. I started by just mixing up a lighter tone of the base tone and then glazing it back down with some thinned down version of the base tone. I also used this lighter tone to highlight up the skirt that she was wearing. Here I'm going over the skirt with a layer of Army Painter Strong Tone Brown Wash. Then I highlighted up all of the metallic bits by giving it a dry brush with a brighter silver. Then I dry brushed her hair with a lighter brown to give it a nice highlight. Then it was time to make her panther gauntlets look like they were glowing. I had already started by giving her the eyes and mouth a coat of white so that way the color would show up brighter. And then I just went over it with some turquoise color and then wiped off the excess so that way it would really look like it was glowing. Then I added something that I think are the purple ribbons that we see in the pictures of her painted up on the box. Then I added the white markings to her face by taking my smallest paintbrush and just dabbing on some tiny dots here and there. For her base, I just started up by giving the whole thing a base coat of a dark gray.
Then to highlight it up, I went over the whole thing with a dry brush of pure white. Then to darken down the base, I went over the whole thing with a layer of Army Painter's Dark Tone Wash. Then to finish off the model, I went over the base room with a layer of black. After she had dried, I went over her with a layer of dull coat to protect her, and then she's done. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please like and subscribe.